Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we are looking at radiation. So first of all, there are three types of radiation where we get the radiation in our Earth from. First of all, there are unstable isotopes, and that comes from things like air, food, or building materials. Then we also get radiation from space, which is cosmic rays, which we can do nothing about. And then there are also man-made sources, like nuclear weapons, which obviously we create this radiation. Now these radioactive substances can give out three types of radiation as well. And these are alpha, beta, and gamma. And the point of this video will be, I will be going through these different types of radiation. So first of all, we will start with alpha radiation. Now alpha radiation are heli a helium nuclei, which means that they have two protons and two neutrons. Now they are fairly big, but this also means that they are slow moving. Uh, therefore, they cannot penetrate very far into the materials because they are stopped quickly, meaning that they are a lot less dangerous than something like gamma, which I'll go on to next. Then they are strongly ionizing because they bash into lots of atoms and knock electrons off. This creates a lot of ions, hence the term ionizing. So that means that as they're big, they um, bash into things instead of avoiding things. So the next one, which is in the middle of alpha and gamma, is beta. Now, beta radiation um, is basically um, electrons. So beta particles are electrons, and they are in the middle of alpha and gamma. So they move fast as they are small, and they can sort of penetrate into materials before colliding, and they are slightly ionizing. So again, uh, whereas alpha can not really penetrate into materials, and gamma, as I'll say soon, can really penetrate, then beta struggle, but they don't struggle as much as alpha, um, but they're not as good as gamma. And now because a beta particle is an electron, um, it, can turn, it can turn a neutron, turns to a proton in the nucleus. So finally, we'll go on about gamma radiation. Now, as I said before, the gamma radiation can penetrate very far into materials. Um, and as a result, they are weakly ionizing because they pass through, um, they pass through uh, rather than collide. However, when they collide, they, they, collide, they do cause a lot of damage um, and gamma rays have no mass or no charge. So as a result, some types of radiation can be completely harmless and it's all about the decay that happens. But um, most types of radiation they, they is, isn't too harmless. However, gamma rays and um, gamma radiation is the most dangerous, whereas um, alpha radiation is the least dangerous because they collide all the time, but they cannot penetrate through materials. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Goodbye.